goal number four. He couldn't miss this. He'd run the front. I think he might have put that through from point. He's run the wrong way. Please explain. Jones got a chance to kick a goal. He fell over the line. I think, he he's, got the I think he's hit the post. Please explain. And is not impressed. Listen to the crowd. And careful, Brian. You'll lose it again. Please explain. <laughs> uh, now. As a boundary commentator, one of the most important parts of the gig is to pick the right person when you interview a player post-game. I'm not sure on Friday night that Daisy Pierce made the best selection. Congratulations on your game. What changed at quarter time? Yeah, I think it was a combination of a lot of things happening for us, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, it was pleasing to get back into the game. Sorry, I'm shooting away. <laughs> Just spraying, spitting blood everywhere all over poor Daisy. No, oh, well, not to worry. Uh, disingenuous. This is something a word I relate to Backman, Spud. You know why? Why? One of your favourites, Scotty Thompson. Have a look at this. Come goes on. down, shakes hands with Mitch Lewis, and then goes, clip, cop this, mate. Yeah. Get that in there. <laughs> what was the point of shaking hands <laughs> never if you're then going to terrorise him? Double deuce. Oh, <laughs> that's Just that's him up and go oh, for the killer block. Suck him Disgraceful <laughs> stuff, Spud. Uh, I'd love to have been a fly on the wall for this conversation. Um, James Warple played a big first quarter. They're setting up for the second quarter. He's next to Jai Simkin. What do you reckon they're talking about, Bert? Uh, just looking at his stats, he's probably saying, listen here, uh, Jai Tully Bag Simkin, I've had 11 and 7 clearances in the first quarter. Times that by four. <laughs> That's 44 possessions and 28 clearances. <laughs> totally Get a bit closer. <laughs> Did you ever talk to opponents, Spud? Um, Chris Grant. He played his first game on me and I yeah. played my last. Out of, both out of the Witten Oval. I gave him as a last game. He obviously had to play finals. I gave him an empty matchbox before the game. He said, what's that for? And I said, mate, get a couple of kicks early. You're going to wear your teeth in them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he didn't get any kicks. Oh, oh, it work. That is just <laughs> crazy. <Yeah. laughs> Young bomber Dylan Clark turning into one of the best run with players in the competition. But his sense of direction is questionable. Shield grabs it, tries to twist inside and out. He does well, gets it back. Oh, he's gone the wrong way. He's gone the wrong way, the boy Clark. That is unbelievable. He's gone the wrong way. <laughs> kicked it the wrong way. We saw Ben Cunnington do it a couple of weeks ago. Now, we saw Kyle Hooker kick the winner last week. Well, this is about as far as away from that kick as you can possibly get. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Lord. How have you done that? That's it, almost. That's Look at the ball drop. That's yeah, missed his foot. Oh. Is he a left footer? <laughs> no. <laughs> Missed everything oh, by 20 wow. metres. Wow. Unbelievable. Any, any Falcons, Chiefy boy? There are. Is There's it? a couple of good ones. Marley That's Williams right. copped one. North Melbourne. Oh, that's oh, a yeah. cracker. Yeah, the the oh, next yeah. one's better. Wait till you see Mark Blitzer. Oh! oh. 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 And what oh, you have gosh. to remember is it drizzled and rained a bit oh. over there. Heavy so ball. that's heavy. a heavy, wet ball that smacked him in the face. 